Hey everyone, Elle here. So I promised that my next YouTube video would not be a vlog, so it is not. So a lot of you are probably familiar with the name Jack White. He was one half the White Stripes. He went on to do Dead Weather and the Rackin' Tours and a lot of other projects. And then, eventually, he ended up buying a pressing plant and he created Third Man Records. And that is his record label that he financed and created. And they have a rolling record store. Now, this rolling record store is just a small kind of bus. It's no bigger than the short bus, um, you know, yellow school bus on the way to school. Um, and it goes around the US and it hits major cities one, maybe two times a year. And I'm in Milwaukee. And the last time that the rolling record store was here was on I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly, but was Easter on 420? Because I swear that the Rolling Record Store came through on 420, and it was also Easter Sunday. If I'm wrong about it being on 420, it was definitely on Easter Sunday, so whatever this last Easter 2017 was. But I digress. The point is, I missed it, because I was not in Milwaukee during Easter. I was elsewhere. And so I didn't get to experience the bus, and I've never been to it before. But then I found out, uh, before this weekend happened, that it was planning to come through Milwaukee today, and so I went. Now, interesting things about the hall that I'm going to tell you about. Only half of this hall is mine. The other half is my partner, so he gave me a stipend to go purchase records on his behalf. There is no way of knowing before it shows up what records they have in tow. So I just had to go based on what I know he likes. Uh, we've been together for like six or seven years now. So I had to just go based on what does he like, what are his interests, because I'm spending his money on his behalf. Now, I live in the same house, so in a way, it's, it's still mine, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys my Third Man Records, uh, Third Man Records Rolling Records Store haul. Wow. That was a mouthful. Um, now, okay, I don't have any footage from, like, being at it because I'm... I'm just lame. I'm scared of filming in public still. Like, I live in a city where, first of all, like, having a camera in public looks really douchey, like, to be doing vlog-style stuff, and I, I know it's all a state of mind, but part of it is I don't ever want to bring my good camera outside because I don't want to get robbed, and I can film on my phone, but I know that it's just not quality footage. And I'm also, like I said, scared, not comfortable with just having a camera. I would have loved to be, if I was one of those cool people who aren't scared of looking douchey in public, I would have shown you that um, the rims on the truck had the three little, if you're familiar with the Third Man Records logo, it had the three straight lines with the, with, I guess they kind of look like heads. It's, you know, third man, it's three men, but it's three straight lines with little head dots on top, and that was actually within the wheel. It was the rim for the wheels, and it was plain Jack White music, and it was colorful, and I did sneak about eight seconds of footage of what the truck looked like, and I'm going to edit that now. Okay, so, yep, that was some really riveting footage, right? So this is what the experience was like. It was parked outside of Acme Records in Milwaukee, Wisconsin from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I got there at about 10.45, and there were a bunch of people waiting inside the record store that were waiting for it to open. It was over 90 degrees again today, but I waited outside. And then, once the truck kind of started to open up and people saw that they should form a line, I ended up being second in line. So, sorry if you were one of the 20 people that were rummaging around in the record store, but that's your loss for wanting air conditioning. 
I stayed outside to have that premium access. And why did it matter to be second in line? Well, the reason why I showed up early was because they carry what they carry. You have no way of knowing, like I said, what they have until they get there. And they actually put out merchandise menus and then vinyl menus. Um, so you can pick one up while you're waiting in line and see, you know, what they have available. And so, without further ado, let's just go through what I got. So everything in total in this bag ended up being $165, $10 of that was tax. So it was $155 in product, $10 in tax. Um, we'll talk about whether or not I think it's a good deal to show up to one of these at the end. But let's get started on what I have. So this is the bag. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna have to edit this. Achoo! Nothing like sneezing 500 times to get your voice and face ready for a YouTube video. I also uh, am melting. I might look extremely hot and red because for some reason in Wisconsin, particularly being on Lake Michigan in Milwaukee, it's been over 90 degrees for about five days straight. We actually just had our warmest day of the entire year. So it's been warmer at the end of September than it has been at any point in our summer, June, July, August. That's crazy. I'm not used to this kind of heat. We don't usually get this kind of heat. If we do, it's like for one week in July. So we had all of this 45, 50 degree weather about 10 days ago. And then suddenly now we're just slamming through the 90s. So. Anyways, enough of my chit chatter. But this is the bag. There's nothing exciting about it. But since this is a haul, I guess uh, I don't know. You're supposed to like look at it or care. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I might actually start with the smaller stuff just because that is going to just be easier to grab. So to start, I got. Ooh, I'm gonna have to peel. I hate the warning sticker on lighters. But yeah, this is nothing fancy. This is your classic Bic lighter with the Third Man logo on it. This is super happening, I know. I just can't say no to lighters. They light incense, you know, other things. Oh, I'm a terrible person who didn't mute my phone. And I'm not going to redo that bit, so we're just going to deal with the fact that my phone went off. I got a composition notebook. Again, this was just something where I was just like, fun. These are little trinkets I got myself. They were cheap. They were something I could be like, cool, because you can only buy certain merch at the rolling record store. So I grabbed that. It's nothing fancy. And last non-vital item is a sticker, because I'm going to put it on something. That's the not fun stuff. All right, let's get to vinyl. How did I manage to spend $165? I'm gonna pull it all out and put it to the side, and then we'll just go through everything. So, what should I start with? The seven inches? Let's go for that. Check out these sweet, sweet 45s. So, so if I remember correctly, each 45 was six dollars a piece, but there are a few that weren't six dollars. I guess I should have done a better job of Breaking all this down, but there's really no way for me to do that unless I was like obsessively Like writing down the prices, but to start we got a Yusuf and Cat Stevens Oh, Got the wrong side. I love my dog single this was one that I just like Cat Stevens, and it was just an impulse purchase. Um, got it because I think my boyfriend will appreciate it. I got a Rack and Tour single, Steady As She Goes. Um, love the Rack and Tours, love the song. And yeah, I. <laughs> a lot of this is just gonna be like, I bought this and I think it's cool. But uh, I've always loved the Rack and Tours. Steady As She Goes was like. I think in like 2007, 2008, very definitive of like my high school years. And yeah, I just don't own a seven inch single of this. Uh, we have, and this was a pick I got for my partner, 
Uh, he is a big Conan O'Brien fan, he's a big Jack White fan, and they happen to have this 45 that is Jack White interviewing Conan O'Brien. I don't know anything else about the context of this other than it's Conan, it's Jack White. Uh, there's an interview on Side B, but Side A is actually a song by Conan O'Brien. Um, uh, I must admit that I'm a bit too young to have been on the Conan O'Brien loving him comedian trend. I remember in 2009, right when I turned 18 and graduated high school, that's when they gave him The Tonight Show. It was The Tonight Show, right? And then they ripped it away from him, like, immediately. Um, so I remember that. Um, and, you know, I'm familiar with Triumph the Insult Dog, and but I, I don't... I'm not regularly familiar with Conan's comedy, but apparently Side A is a song, like I said, Side B, got an interview. Now we got Dead Weather, I, uh, I don't recall, I think I just picked this one because it was Dead Weather and available. So Side A is Blue Blood Blues, Side B is Jawbreaker, um, it's just six bucks. The reason why, I guess I said I'd wait till the end to talk about this, the reason why I grabbed some stuff like the Tours and the Dead Weather is because uh, even though it's not anything like supremely special, $6 is about as cheap as you're going to get a 45, especially like a new age printed 45. And then since I showed up to the Rolling Records store, that means I don't have to pay shipping. Because a lot of record stores in Milwaukee, and I would say nearly all of them, don't really carry stuff from Third Man Records. If Jack White puts out new music, like recently he had um, under Third Man Records an acoustic uh, recording album, uh, you know, they'll, they'll carry that. But as far as not Jack White releases on Third Man Records, they don't really pop up in, in local record stores. A lot of the local record stores around here refrain from even carrying new releases. It's mostly used and it's like used old stuff and used new age stuff, but they'll only carry new releases, you know, when they're the new release. You're not going to find something that was a new release two or three years ago. Like you might, and you might get lucky, but let me tell you how long I've been looking for, uh, like I love Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, and I always look at every single record store for, hey, let's find a BRMC album. They never have any. Uh, recently, Death From Above, 1979, which is one of my favorite bands, just had a new release, and which is like a big deal because they came out with their first music in, in a decade, in 10 years, um, about two years ago now, they reunited, and it's like a big deal that they just dropped a new album, and I actually just checked the record store, it came out about either a week or two weeks ago, and I checked the record store that was hosting the Third Man Records rolling record store. Man, is that hard to say. And they just didn't have it. So that's what I'm saying uh, as far as like why I grab stuff that I know I like when I see it, like today, because it's it's there. I can get it and I don't have to pay shipping because for some reason, I don't know, the local record stores and I, they just don't carry the bands I like and I don't think the bands I like are so unique, so I don't understand why they don't carry them, but oh my god, if you want to get shit like, I don't know, what's something that's just like, you know, Pink Floyd, you can get 10 brand new copies of every single Pink Floyd album ever, but if for some reason things that I think are pretty mainstream that are coming out on vinyl aren't getting carried locally. Wow, that was like a really long aside no one asked for. And then I got this Wanda... Jackson, you know I'm no good, and shaking all over. If you are familiar with just Jack White and his music and what he loves, he loves Wanda Jackson. I've not gotten anything that Third Man has put out from her, um, so I'm just excited for this. I am mostly got this for shaking all over, and I'm just really, just really excited. So there were these. How many do we have here? We have 545s here, but then there are more because the Rolling Record Store has exclusives that you can only purchase at the Rolling Record Store. And so, two of those 45s, one was White Stripes Fell in Love with a Girl. 
I'm confused why this was listed as an exclusive. Maybe they don't sell this one online and you have to go to Third Man to purchase it, but this was listed as one of the exclusives for the tour of the bus. So I bought it. I would have bought it anyway because this is one of my jams. Um, everything. I have a White Stripes tattoo actually. I don't know why it took me so long into this video to realize I should say that. Um, but I'm committed to the White Stripes at the point of, of being inked with, with their honor. As you might know, the White Stripes originally were going to be called the Peppermint Patties. They knew that they wanted to go with a red and white color scheme, and so they thought the Peppermint Patties was a good name. I forget if Peppermint Patties had some sort of legal issue with it, and that's why they didn't go with that, or if in the end they decided we don't like that name. But they scrapped the idea of being called the Peppermint Patties. They went with the White Stripes. However, they regularly used Peppermint Patties and that swirl design that you see on, on Little Mints. They regularly used that on album art. I was wondering if there's one here. But on album art and just throughout the imagery of their band. And so that's why when I got a White Stripes tattoo, I didn't want to get a tattoo that said, Hey! the white stripes. I went with a peppermint patty because that is a subtle nod to them. But yes, this was listed as an exclu exclusive and that is why I picked it. Then this is another one that was exclusive to the Rolling Record Store. I have no knowledge of, of this artist at all. This could be terrible, although I'm sure it's not. The band is called My Bubba. And the reason why this was a Rolling Record Store exclusive, I'm going to assume I do not like the way that they made this sleeve, is because it is a tricolor 45. And I'm a sucker for colored vinyl. I know that there's nothing that makes this fancy or like more worthy than another uh, record other than the fact that it's colored. But if I have an option, like let's say an artist I like has a new release and they've got one for $5 extra that's like clear vinyl or like red splatter, I'll always get that. One, because they typically have uh, more value down the line. I'm not so sure anymore unless they do limited pressings because now colored vinyl is becoming such a common normal thing that it's like, oh cool, you've got that blue one, so do I. But this was listed as an exclusive. Even if it wasn't colored vinyl, I think I still would have picked it up um, because it was listed as one of the exclusives. But yeah, I, I have no idea what this sounds like. All I know is that it's two chicks and, and I might sound like an asshole for not knowing who they are. Um, so I look forward to discovering who they are later. And this one I know for sure was a $15. Uh, 7 inch 45 because it's colored vinyl paying for that extra color although from what I understand from watching YouTube videos there's more work that goes into creating these colored vinyl as well so again you know you pay the price and then I really wanted to get what they were out of because like I said they have what they have so like yesterday they were in Minneapolis, no, yesterday they were in Chicago and like the day before they were in Minneapolis, I think, and I, they don't go back to Nashville, Tennessee to go restock the bus. So if they sell out of something at one city, they're not going to have that. So the bus did arrive in Milwaukee today with some things crossed out and there were two or three albums I wanted that they were just already sold out of. One was a live performance of the Black Lips um, it's when Third Man has records that come to their uh, facility and they do a performance there and the recording, the live recording happens there. So I really wanted to get that and then there was also a, mm, I want to say it was either Dead Weather or Rack and Tours, but it was another uh, full 33 and a third uh, full album but they did not have it. So there was two or three that I didn't get to, to have, and that made me a very sad person. And they were ones that they did not already have crossed out. 
Like some of them, when I looked at the menu, I was like, yep, I want that. And when I got to the window, they were like, sorry, we don't have that. And I'm like, why didn't you cross it out then? Because I was standing here for 20 minutes thinking I was going to get it. But it's fine because what they did have, let me see in the order that I want to say what these things are. So I got two live albums performed at um, Third Man Records. One is by the 5678s. I don't know anything about this artist at all. I should say these artists because I know for sure it's a female group. Uh, I also actually wanted to get a 45 that they had, but they were out of it, which has got me convinced that this must be good. This was something I grabbed for my boyfriend um, because I, I just saw that it's, it's some very young, beautiful Asian women who are like, are very traditionally dressed, but they also look like they're rocking the fuck out. Uh oh, I said fuck, which means I'm not gonna get monetized. Oh, that's right, only 20 people watch my video. I've been making a really conscious effort to not swear and I'm not sure why. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, I don't know anything about the 5, 6, 7, 8s. Again, probably another group that I'm going to have to eat my own words later when I play this and I'm like, wow, they're great and I can't believe that I didn't know who they were sooner to like promote them. But I could just tell that, that this is something that's going to be up his alley. I'm very convinced about traditionally dressed women rocking out and, and shredding guitars and I suspect that this is going to be a good album. So this was another blind pick. Now we're down to the last two. I got The Shins. This is for me live at Third Man. Um, I just freaking love the shins. Uh, I really wish that I could have also gotten the Black Lips one, but it's okay. I got the shins. I'm just, a, a, you know, I will say that the shins are usually when I'm like feeling sorry for myself. I'll like play the shins, but um, actually what if the shins fondly remind me of is the film Garden State. I had listened to The Shins well before them being prominently featured in Garden State, the movie, uh, which is with Z Zach Braff and Natalie Portman. If you haven't watched that, watch it. Yeah, it's kind of becomes a romance thing in the end, and like maybe you need to be at a certain part in your life to like, I don't know, get something from the film. Um, but for me, I watched Garden State when I was 18 with a really close friend of mine at the time, and like the film meant a lot to us, and then they, the shins were prominently featured in the film, I don't want to ruin it, and uh, yeah, I just, ever since then, like it's just like, they're an emotional group for me. But anyways, super excited to get this. Now the problem is this is one of the only, I think, plastic sealed albums I got and whenever I get something that it's sealed in plastic it takes me forever to open it back up. Well back up I guess it hasn't been opened once but it takes me forever to cool. I got a fat stomach and it's totally been showing on the camera this whole time. I don't even care. I'm half naked because it's 90 degrees and I don't have air conditioning. But yeah I was really excited about this. And now the, the grand finale, the album that cost 40 mother frickin' dollars of the 165 that was spent. I don't know how to do math, but I do know that's at least 25% of what I spent today. And um, it was one of the exclusives. So they had four things that were uh, exclusive sales. The only one that I didn't get that was part of the exclusive listing was there was like a, and I should have gotten it, it was like a blues compilation album it sounded like, uh, and I'm not sure why I didn't get that. I think I just kind of panicked because <laughs> there was a really big line of people behind me and it was hot and I'm not sure why I didn't get it. Um, but never fear. So what I did get that I spent $40 on that I'm, it's clearly a reissue, I'm, it's a reissue of a 1969 Stooges album, and apparently it was exclusive to the Rolling Records store. So, if I am to understand this correctly, it can't be purchased online? I'm really confused about what makes 
than the exclusive specials that are on there. Like, is it that people can't buy it online? Is it that it can only be bought at Third Man Records? So if you're getting the opportunity to get it on the Rolling Records store, like, that makes it exclusive. Because it's like, hey, you either gotta go to Nashville or buy it now. I'm not really sure. But I'm a big Iggy Pop fan, and, and so is my partner. And this is a double LP. Uh, and yeah, I'm just, I, that's, I got it. <laughs> And, um, that's my haul. Make sure I- Oh! Colored vinyl! It's yellow! That's probably part of why it's so expensive. Let me show you one of these really quick. Gotta get this out real gentle. We'll just show you part. Look at that beautiful yellow vinyl. That's definitely part of why it's so expensive. So I had to abruptly end recording the last bit I recorded before this bit, and I'm not gonna know until I review the footage how awkward it is, so I'm saying this bit in case it ends really abruptly before this last bit. But yes, let's review everything I got again. So I got three, one being a double LP, full length albums, two of them are live recordings, one's colored vinyl, Shit, that's already nice. And how many 45s? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven inch 45s. And one of those being a tri-color color vinyl. So in total, <laughs> math, 10. It's 10. So in total, uh, you know, 10 articles of vinyl with a sticker and a notebook and a lighter. Real simple things, but honestly, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm happy that I like went to it. Um, I kind of think so. This is what I was expecting before I got there and really realized like that it was kind of like a food truck. That's the best way to explain it. Is that it was a food truck? There's a menu outside. You go to the window and you order it. Uh, originally, for some reason, I thought that I was expecting going, like, I don't know, if you, the viewer, where you lived growing up had something called the bookmobile, where it was uh, this, like, book bus that you and, like, 10 to 15 people could go in at a time, and it had shelves and shelves of books, and it brought the library to you, and you could check out your own books, and... Oh man, the 90s were great, but for some reason I was thinking it was a larger bus and it was going to be more of a bookmobile experience where like I was actually going in and looking at stuff and here is, <laughs> how weird does my knee look on here? So here's the pros and cons of this. Obviously, they don't know what they're going to have in stock until they arrive, which means that there's no way that they can post ahead of time what you can pick through. Uh, it's also, I guess, not fair to, like, do that, where people could, like, plan and, like, know what they want to get. Um, but at the same time, they're hurting themselves because I possibly would have spent more money had it been a more relaxed environment where I didn't feel pressured to hurry up. They had menus that you could grab at the side, and I brought one to the window for reference and, like, looked through what I want. But like I said, I'm not sure why I didn't get the Blues compilation exclusive. Um, and there's a couple other things that, had I just had, you know, those couple of minutes where you just kind of look and, like, tangibly feel an item that you might purchase, and then you decide, yeah, I'm going to purchase that. Had I had that experience, like, they, they totally would have gotten more money from me, you know? Um, I don't know. That's, that's the pros and the cons. Like, the pro is it's a pop-up record store, and you get to go and see what they have. And it's cool, you know? It's Third Man Records. Either you buy it online and you have to pay shipping and stuff, or you go to Nashville. So, like, yeah, it's a great experience. And they carry merch that... I'm kind of at an age where, like, that's why I just got, like, the notebook and the lighter and the sticker, because those are things I'll use. They have things like, um, 
like a flag or like, you know, like a cup or something that says third man. And those are all exclusive merchandise, I guess, to the Rolling Record store, according to the menus that they had. Um, but yeah, if, if they just, I, I mean, I don't know, the, the truck is the size that it is, but if they did it in a way where people could tangibly take a look at what they're carrying, I feel like people are inclined to spend more money and, but I mean, they're making so much money from the Rolling Record store, I don't think that they really care about my advice or suggestions about it. But just as someone who gets really anxious in like public crowded situations like that, I definitely felt pressure to hurry up. And the thing is people, last time that it came through, people waited in line for hours. That's why I went right away. Literally hours to like get up to the front. So it's not like you can make purchases and then be like, ah shucks, you know, I think I might actually want that. Because it's not a casual thing to get back in line in 90 plus degree heat to wait all over again to get to the front. Um, so that's the only thing I would say is that, you know, the downfall is that you, you don't get that time of like, you know, I keep repeating myself here, but just that, um, not luxury, what's the word I'm looking for? Relaxing kind of time, you know, carefree where you can just rifle through and be like, huh, like what songs are on this? Do I know this artist? You know, you don't get to actually look at the product. You have to order it off a menu where it just has the album cover. And I guess that's another thing. The menus just have the album covers, which is great if you're familiar with the artist and you're familiar with what songs are on what album. But I'd say that there was at least maybe 200 records to to pick from and no one's gonna know all the art I'm a terrible person no one's gonna know all the artists and no one's gonna know like oh yeah I know all the songs on this album it's just no one does and so you're really losing out on people who are impulse buyers who just need to kind of scan and and take a look and be like you know like you know, what kind of music is this? Oh yeah, this artist is from this and this, and you know, they they put out this, or this is their debut album. Because as someone who likes to, um, someday I'll show you guys, maybe I will at the end of this video if I'm feeling up to it, briefly. As someone who casually buys vinyl, my partner and I are the kind of people where if we see something that's pre-1969, like and it looks funny or interesting or weird, we'll buy it. We'll buy it from, you know, garage sales, Goodwill, whatever. And for like newer releases, I like I bought the 678s album because their album cover looked cool. You know, I hate to be one of those people, but I've discovered some great music purely by being like, oh, that looks interesting. Allow me to purchase it. And so that being said, this video is probably already way too long. That is my haul today from the Third Man Records Rolling Record Store. Finally said it perfectly. And I guess we'll close out with some shots of vinyl I do have. I will come back one day and, and I'll pick some highlights. But I just want to give you guys, I guess, an idea of the collection we do have. It's nothing like when you walk in and someone has like a beautiful vinyl room with fucking walls of it. But we have a, a modest amount, you know, probably more than modest. We buy a lot. Um, so let me show you and then I'll do an official goodbye at the end. All right, so this lighting is terrible because I'm not bringing my stage lights out here just to show you guys this. Um, but yeah, this is just one of our areas that we have a bunch of stuff. BRMC, like I said, one of my favorite albums. That's Connor Oberst, the Mystic Valley Band, or Fright Eyes, M83. Oh my god, this album on vinyl. This is why we have to like go through with like my favorites. This was a random grab because I just liked the album art, like I said. Also, it's colored vinyl. And someone recommended, oh, it should my face, someone recommended Sunship to me uh, because I like M83. I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. So this should be hopefully like a cool electric ambient sort of feel to it. 
got some rage this is the new beach house this is this is also the new beach house I happen to have two copies of it you know why if you've been listening you know why because that one's on clear vinyl and this one's black uh, but yeah sometime we'll go through this because I just have a lot of great stuff and I just dropped these more BRMC and then we just got some more over here I'm going to I collect old radios and I have too many of them and I need to deal with them more over here more over here and some books that I need to put away this is the newest TV on the radio some rage that looks like it's Pink Floyd yeah someone outside is listening to music really loud in their car I don't know if you guys can hear that I won't know until I edit but uh, yeah over here got some cat toys got a fire escape ladder if you live on the second floor or above you should get yourself one of these some 45s like I said these are all just like random picks that we find for like five or, or ten cents places Got some more random old ones. I have no idea what's in here at all. Got some more 45s over here. Under here. I don't even know if you can tell that. No, you can. In this basket. You guys need to get a tour of this room someday. Because this is... We'll get there one day. Alright, and then there's just some more albums over here no idea what's in here excuse the randomly strewn wrestlers and then down below we got some more and i think that's all of them i think that's all if you watched all of that thank you so much thank you for joining me in today's video if if you are watching me i just appreciate it because i'm not sure how many people are watching these videos but have a great day and stay rad.